Hello, this is a tutorial on two different tools that you can use to help streamline your operation. Having to do with scheduling, oftentimes you need to send invitations to people to join you for an event, for a meeting, for a particular day, for multiple days, and there's a number of people that you need to get this information from, and there's a couple of tools I'm going to show you today that make this very quick, very easy, and very efficient. The first one is called Doodle. Doodle is a free service. Like a lot of free services, they do have some paid versions that you can get involved in that have some more bells and whistles, but I find that using the free version has met all of my particular needs. So you access it at google.com, and then you can sign up. And like a lot of apps, you can sign up often with uh, Google accounts or social media accounts. In this case, you have Facebook and Google options, or you can sign up using an email address. Now I'll sign up for do. So I have to activate the account. So what happens is they're going to send me an email. I'm going to go grab that now and pop in my activation code, and then we will continue. Okay, I've added in my activation code, and I will now activate my account. So my account is activated. I can now schedule a meeting or schedule an event. So I click on schedule an event. I give the event a title. I could put a description in if I want. I can attach a note. I have my name. Probably should have put my full name on there when I did it. Say next. And so now I have the ability to select a single date or multiple date ranges. With each date, I can change the time. So let's say I'm going to pick the 13th and the 14th, the 15th, 21st. So I have four different choices here. I can delete any of these choices if I've changed my mind. I say, well, no, it wasn't the 21st. It was actually the 22nd. Then I would say next, and now I get the ability to add a, a times to the dates. So we have Monday the 13th, and I can do um, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and 10 a.m. And I can do that for all of them. And here on Wednesday the 21st, maybe I have some different times for this meeting on that day. And let's say 1, and 2. Okay, so I can add for further time slots. Um, I could have copied and pasted the first row into another row if I was going to do duplications. I can, uh, adding the further time slots would allow me to get time slot 3, time slot 4, and so forth. I can enable time zone support, which is always a good thing to do. And so what will happen is if I have somebody in a different time zone other than Eastern Standard Time, it will go ahead and adjust the time zone for this particular time. So if I have someone in, um, in Mountain Time, it's going to make my uh, 8 a.m. meeting. It's going to already adjust it, and it'll show up at 6 a.m. in their time frame. So I'm going to click Next. And so I'm all set. I'm going to deal with some settings if I need to. I don't really need to have any of that kind of stuff. I don't need to put a poll in. I can say Next, and I'm good. So here's where we're going to send it to the various people. 
So I have various types of contact lists I can draw from, my Google account, Office 365, Outlook, whatever. So I'm just going to choose a personal one. Uh, here's another personal one. And as you can see, I can invite up to 250 people. I can add a message. I can preview the email and make some changes there, or I can say finish. And then these people are going to get the poll itself. And you'll see here the participants would be listed, the dates here and times. And if an individual is looking for times that they can attend, they're just going to click on them. Anything that they that will not work for them, they don't do that. And then they'll hit save. So I can keep this inform me about further participants, comments, and other events. I can return to the poll itself. And you can see here that anything that's identified here with this kind of reddish pink color, those are times that this individual cannot make it. Other individuals would put their name in here and they would select their times. And so say we return to the poll. And it will identify where we're at. Is it doing its thing? There we go. So you can see that obviously it's very visual. It identifies various times that people can attend. So right now with the two people, if we had more people, we'd have to see how it shakes out. But then you can identify where the specific date and time is and select those final options from several and you can communicate that as well. So this is Doodle. Again, a free service, relatively easy to use. I'm now going to take a look at another service. And this service is called Meeting Wizard. It is also a meeting scheduling solution. MeetingWizard.com will get you there, gets you to this screen. Get started now. And here you get to choose whether you want one or more dates in time or a specific start time to see who can attend. I'm going to choose multiple. Hit continue. So again, similar situation. I'm going to pick my dates, 13th, add it. And I can also adjust times here going forward. But uh, right now, we're picking an 8 o'clock time frame here. I'm going to pick another date, 14th, add it, 15th. Uh, add it, and we're going to go back, I think I picked the 22nd, and we're going to add that. So I have these times. I can also identify a 9 o'clock time on the 13th and add that. I can add the 10 o'clock time, 13th, 10 o'clock and add that and so forth. So you get the idea. And then here is where I would identify the approximate time for the meetings. Maybe they're one hour long and I can say it's going to be definite or it's going to be approximate. If it's going to happen over multiple days, I would let uh, people know that. And then here's where I identify my time zone. So I will say uh, continue. Subject purpose for the meeting. The type of meeting that it is, and I can put the email addresses in here. Of the people that I would like to invite to the meeting, you can put a whole bunch of them in there. Messages, proposed location. So I get an email update after all responses is received or after each response is received. And maybe I'll do each. Send a general reminder to participation one day before the start of the event. I'll change it up to two, let's say, and then I'll click it. And then I have to, uh, again, log in, set up my own account here. I 
Western time zone, country, United States. Make this a little bit bigger so I can see it. I'll save that for right now. Oh, looks like I've already done uh, this before, but you get the idea of how you go ahead and pull that in. And then you can view uh, what this particular uh, meeting looks like. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out what my password is anyway, but I think you get the idea. Um, meeting Wizard will give you a lot of the same access as uh, Doodle does. Uh, I use Doodle. It's just something I've kind of gotten uh, more used to, but I have a number of people that I work with that use the Meeting Wizard. And it allows you both as the owner of the Doodle, I'm sorry, the Meeting Wizard poll, to see the responses of everybody. And as one of the participants, you can see who all is coming as well. So now that I have put in my proper uh, email and password, then uh, I get a list. This is kind of like a review situation. I can go in and edit the details of this meeting. If I have decided to, that I need to do that, maybe I got something wrong here. And so then I would click the Send it Now button. And my meeting request has been sent. And then I can view this. We can see that there's two participants that I have um, invited to the meeting. They have not confirmed a date as of yet. So now I went into one of the as one of the participants and I identified which dates and times I'm available and which ones I am not. And so you can see very similar to uh, how Doodle will make this uh, work. So again, you have doodle.com and meetingwizard.com both free online scheduling, meeting scheduling solutions. And hopefully this will uh, help you when you need to get together with a bunch of people from a bunch of different locations. And you need to find out what's a good day and time to get them all together. Thanks.